Okay, risk, risk, very, very important. When you plan a wireless network, you need to be sure to carefully assess and do everything you can to mitigate, to reduce risks, okay? Anybody who says to you that there aren't any risks, that the risks are minimal, are lying to you. That's not the case. <laughs> there will always be risk. It's good to have someone on the project team who has experience in this. That project team could be you, part of the team that you work, or it could be somebody who works in that company, right? That we've said is gonna be part of this, this team that's going to go through and help you develop your project plan. So evaluate the risk. What is the risk? Is there, are we gonna use contractors, okay? What is the risk? Is the risk high or is the risk low? No, we've had been with this company a long time. They have lots of staffing. You know, if it's a one man company, well, the risk becomes higher. You might, I, I was a one man company at the stage. Uh, then I hired other people. But when I was a one man company, I was a risk. It depends on the industry. I would never have taken on the role of doing the IT at a hospital. And a hospital would never have given that to a company with one person. You know, it's just, you can't do that. You would need to be a full time because if a machine goes down because of a wireless access point, because of an access point, that's too much of a risk. We can't wait two or three or four hours for you to get here. So risks are very important. What about, you know, people leave, people leave companies and they move to other companies, right? Uh, we do a sad face. Mm, they left, uh, they're crying over here. They've left, um, someone is, is that a risk? You know, it's something that you need to think about. What about the level of management commitment and ownership? This is an important thing. For any project to be successful, it can't be driven from the bottom up, right? Maybe the idea comes from the IT department and that doesn't mean that they are the bottom, right? It doesn't mean that. But if an idea comes and from the from from the IT department, look, we really need a wireless network in the school, and these are the reasons why. You come up with a project plan. You come out with a with a scope. This is what we need to do. The authorization and the permission <clears throat> and the guarantee for your project to go well is if you get the buy-in of the people at the top. If the people at the top are not supporting you with finance and, and, and with encouragement and everything that you need with oversight and the governance, you're going to struggle. Don't take on projects without the support of your seniors, without the support of management, without the blessing from the top. Because the time is going to come where you're going to need the support, you're gonna need their finance, and if you don't have their blessing, they will pull the rug out from under you and you will fail. And you will fail because it was your fault, because you think you thought that you could do stuff like this on your own. This is a risk. If you try and do projects on your own without the involvement of management, without the blessing of management, this project will have a very high risk of failure. And if it fails, if it fails, you are the one that it's going to come down to because you didn't get the blessing. You didn't get the buy-in from management above you. So make sure that you do this. It's part of your risk analysis when you look at this. Okay.